you wouldn't believe the world we live in. It's pretty incredible. I'm sending honey to America, and the Americans are sending shirts to me. How cool is that? Because we've got ourselves a bit of a gig going on here with the spreadsheet, no, spread shirt people, <laughs> which is kind of cool. And my lovely wife, who's an internet shopping genius, she found our website and thought we'd better order some shirts and jumpers and, hell, there's probably a couple of kilos of stuff in here, but anyway, we'll check it out and we'll see if it's good. Or what's the catch cry? Could be good, could be shit, but we'll find out. <laughs> Oh, there's something lumpy in there as well. Cow. Oh, cow. God. You can see I do a lot of unpackaging. Golly gosh. Here we go, here we go. Oh, there's a shirt in here. It's like that, what was that? There's a bear in there and people with stories to tell. Now that was a kid's show. <laughs> what was that? Play school. Play school. An Australian thing though. Oh, well. Google Play School and you'll know where that song is. Hey, here's the shopping list. Says, oh my goodness gracious, she has been busy. Oh, look. Hey, and a jumper. How <laughs> cool is that? I reckon that looks pretty good. Well, it's not even a transfer, it's a proper printed on thing. How cool is that? Look at that. Mate, I'll be able to get me granddad jumper off. How good is that? Oh, that should look cool. The Bush Bee Man. I wonder who that dude is. <laughs> Mum's got a Mum's got herself a red button. I reckon. I reckon that I'll have a sneaker suspicion that's my lovely wife's. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. It's even got a oh sorry. It's even got a little we could ask tie down thing for the winter. Is that different to the blokes one? No no, they both got that. Oh <sighs> look at that. It's pretty cool. Oh look! Oh, it's even got, it's even got your warm me up pocket hand things. Lots of cold weather jumper, that one. <laughs> Do we have Bush Bee Man gloves coming? I don't know. That'd be a bit odd. Oh, that might not be as silly as I think, because we could have Bush Bee Man work gloves, couldn't we? Because, like, with the hive gloves, but... Oh, Lord. What the hell's in that box? There's another, there's a box in a box. What else have we got in here? Oh, here's the T-shirt. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, look at that. The lad will be pleased because I ordered, I ordered something myself. I went a bit rogue. I went a bit rogue and sort of put an internet order in for something. And I got the bee box the wrong colour, so there was great controversy because the bee box that I had was the black one, which was... It was obviously the earlier version that I wasn't meant to use. Yeah, we're going to have to have a fashion parade. Oh. Hey, Virginia, look at that, that's pretty pink. Oh, she'll look cute in that. Oh. Hey, we might have to get a Bush Bee Man nighty as well, so you know, we could... that's a pretty nighty. Look at that, this bee show up better too. This is the most fun I've had clothes shopping in a long time. Hell, I wonder if she might have bought a whole, she might have bought a whole blooming box full of mugs. Can we tip the box out? <laughs> oh, golly gosh. Come on, get out of there. Get out, get out! Get out, you little beast! Oh, God! Oh! Ah! <laughs> so, oh! There's little boxes in little boxes! <laughs> There's even more boxes! Look, we've got boxes inside of boxes! It's like those little... What are those little things that you stack on top of each other? Those little dolls? Those little dolls keep coming out. And then you end up with a little one like that right at the end. What's oh, an upside down coffee cup? Yeah, there you go, that. Oh, I reckon that's pretty cool. Now, this is where I got in trouble, you see. Because I thought the young, oh, I thought, oh, this is why I have, have to have a white, a black box on a white background. But he's quite right, you see, because that's still, you can see that's a bee box on a white background. So, oh, I eat humble pie right there. In the public eye, even. I reckon I'll have to have a cup of tea out of that. I'll be bloody dandy. Well, you'd probably put a few, you'd probably put a bit of port in it at all, couldn't you? <laughs> awesome. Cool, well, I'll pop that in there. I don't know, do you reckon, do you reckon a bloke should go and put on his t-shirt and jumper and <laughs> take off this raggedy old grandfather jumper and 
get get dressed up and be cool. Like that, isn't it? Gangsters? <laughs> nah, that's a bit weird. I don't know. And here's Mark Spot of the ensemble. Is that an ensemble when they do the other bit? Gosh, you've got your you can keep your ears warm. Hey, if we got really radical, you could have a little picky cap thing too, to keep the sun off. But anyway, keep your ears warm and then you're like little red riding hood you can keep your ears out. I don't know. What do they call that? A hoodie, isn't it? A hoodie? No? That's what you're wearing. Oh, that's what I'm wearing! Whew. Wow! I reckon that looks pretty cool. I might wear that out. Cool, how cool does that look? I'm, I reckon I'm pretty impressed with that. We've had a, we've had a few goes at a different, few different things, but if you want to get your hands on a cool Bush B-Man t-shirt, coffee mug, jumper, hoodie, apparently it's called, um, just go to our website, the Bush B Company, and click on merchandise, and you'll be surprised what sort of crazy shit pops up. Good thing about it is, if you um, buy some clothing, it helps support the show, and so you get something cool to wear, and you also get to have a cracking good laugh.